Okay. Thank you to the, our three speakers. Um, well, we're particularly asked to reflect on um, to what extent, if any, is it the role of an oversight body to engage participants? And I think we've probably had some fairly provocative comments in the last one, but generally, I'm sure you've all got questions. Yes, at the back. Hi, I'm Will Bowen from the Health Research Authority. Um, thank you for the talks, they're very interesting. Um, got me thinking about something that the scientific community are in danger of doing, and that's separating out different types of science and perhaps putting more emphasis on a certain type of science over another as more thorough than something else. Now, I'd just like to use an example of why perhaps it's not necessarily correct to look at qualitative research as something that is not measurable and is a bit fluffy. So we can set up a clinical trial into a new medication and we can measure that the participants are not taking this medication. But at that point, what's relevant there? Is it the fact that they're not taking it? Or what would be more important would to be measure why they're not taking it? So for example, if you ask a participant why they're not taking it, and the answer is, because it's too big, I can't physically swallow it, and it tastes horrible, that becomes incredibly relevant information for your perhaps more measurable, harder scientific research that you're doing. So I think really this is a comment rather than a question, but if anybody would like yeah. to talk to it, I think it is very important that people are asked relevant questions about their involvement, perhaps. Yeah, so public engagement during the course of the research. But has anyone got a comment on that? Or? No, I mean, the only comment tangential to that is that clearly engagement communications is often stepped. There are important intermediaries. There's a group of intermediaries. I don't know whether UK Biobank has engaged them, but in the health field, and in, certainly in terms of your example, are very important, and those are primary care physicians. Uh, people will still, <laughs> for good or ill, trust their primary care physician uh, about their health and certainly taking medicines. Whether primary care physicians should be enrolled in some sense uh, as a key interest group for UK Biobank, they may be already, I, I, I don't know, but clearly they are an important group, although it, a group, those of you who are clinicians will know, who are in the throes of uh, quite important uh, structural and attitudinal change. Yes. Yeah, um, um, the last speaker, I really admire your political realism and, and some of your um, advanced warning uh, uh, s approaches to what might happen as governments change. Um, some experience um, uh, with population biobanks and the disconnect between elected officials and the bureaucrats who work under them vis-a-vis -vis the population, however, shows that um, whereas they may be frightened of such large initiatives or want to reconsider, reconsider spending on such large initiatives, um, the very people that voted them in may have a very different opinion on the worthiness and, and thus the sustainability and need to continue um, uh, a, a, a population biobank. I say this because the reverse happened in Cartagena in Quebec. The government was scared out of its mind for anything to do with genomics, and especially population genomics. And yet our collaboration rate from the citizens who were, we weren't even allowed to con contact them or know who they were. They were randomly selected through the insurance system, had a collaboration rate three times higher of any population um, in Biobank in the world. So we, we can't presume that elected officials actually speak or act for the public. David. No, I mean, I wouldn't want to in any way overemphasize a negative. And I just, if I may give you a brief example, which you, know, you will be familiar with coming from a federal country, governments um, can often be uh, useful allies if government isn't. Uh, the, the attitudes taken, I would imagine, in each of the provinces of Canada will vary. And if I can just perhaps repeat the, the, uh, the remark I made earlier, um, it would be foolish if the mayor of Greater Manchester, who George Osborne decreed will be elected in 2017, doesn't, as her or his first act, visit Cheadle and say what a wonderful resource this is in the midst of uh, Greater Manchester and extol 
UK Biobank as a contribution to the knowledge base of that region. So I think politicians, there are varieties of politicians. Any other questions? No. Right. Thank, just uh, thank our three speakers again. Thank you.